Hey guys, welcome to the Financial. This is Anatoly, and we're talking everything agile, agile tools. Today, we're gonna go a little bit advanced. I'm gonna tell you how to have a Kanban and a Scrum in a single, in the same project. It's pretty crazy. Jira allows you to do that, and I'm gonna talk about some use cases. You guys asked me about it, so now I'm delivering. Before we do two things, I want to tell you. Thing number one, if you guys are completely confused and you want me to help you, I have an hourly consultation, so go to a description and book up time with me. Or if you want to have a longer engagement, please send me an email at defineagile.com at gmail.com or via website defineagile.com and we can talk about how me and my team can support you on a long-term basis. And then the second thing is if you're completely stuck and you're just starting out, you're a beginner, you want to learn Jira step by step, me holding your hand, please go to the description and find Jira for Beginners course they create specifically for that reason so you guys can, uh, can learn Jira in about one day. Now let's get to the meat of this presentation. We need to click on projects, we need to click on create a project because we'll do a new project. And here you can select one, Kanban, Scrum, well, let's select Scrum, I recommend, because if you have two of them, Scrum has Active Sprint and all the other things, so it'll be useful. So if you wanna have Scrum and Kanban in the same project, create a Scrum project first, click Use Template, and then I recommend doing Company Managed because it, it allows you to do so much more. Create, select Company Managed Projects, add a project detail, Kanban Scrum Project, key, whatever you want to put it, and then click create project. So we're just going to go very, very simple. I don't want to overload you with anything that you don't need. Here we are. Let's create a issue here. So just create one. Let's call it test story. Just creating it to for me to show you some things. Of course, it's not here because it is in a backlog. We're working from the backlog. So this can be your development team scrum board. But what if you want to have a Kanban? Like, wh what's the use case for having a Kanban in scrum? Well, let's say you have, you are, you're a project manager and you want to have your own a product owner in scrum. And you want to have your own board where you go for certain iterations. You go through analyzing the stakeholder requests to gathering requirements, something else. You want to have your own board. And then when you are done, it can go to development board. Or you're a designer and you're not working in sprints, you're working in other cadence or anything else, whatever you can think of. So actually, Jira allows us to do that. So what you need to do is you need to click on the project name board. And then you, you can see the board and allows you to create a board. So when you click Create Board, it allows you to create Scrum or Kanban board. So let's create a Kanban board. And board create with a new software project, existing or existing save filter. I would create from an existing project for, for this one. Click Next. The board name, let's say we have Product Owner Board. The project. Let's select the project that we just created, Kanban Scrum Test, Location, Create Board. Now, interesting thing, see they're sharing the same story. So this story right now is in to do here, but if I switch to a Kanban board, which is actually a Scrum board, we can change it, or development board, it's not here, it's in a backlog. It's quite interesting, isn't it? So you can have story in a backlog, but you also the story can be available in your Kanban board. And I mean, there's a ways how to move them between one another, which is more advanced. I'll leave it for the next video. But the point is that right now you can create a bunch of stories that are separate for you, let's say, or even use the same stories and then just go and, and work on them. What if you put that in progress and if you go to other board um, and it will be in progress inside of the backlog? What if you move it into a sprint? Let's do all those. Since you guys will be asking, I'm just going to do that so you guys see it. So I move it to a sprint, I start sprint, start. Hooray! So now it's in progress. 
this will be a little weird because if I move it to to do in this board it will go into to do in the other board so I mean there are a couple ways to avoid that and again more advanced but just putting it out here first of all you can change those statuses if they don't match let's say for your PO board you can go to board settings okay I'm doing it even though I said I want but just just to make sure that you guys are clear uh, you can add a column and you can have a column stakeholder requirements and you can have a status stakeholder requirements and let's say this will be you have to do stakeholder requirements and in your uh, in your board your PO board you're not even getting to done you just have those two things or maybe then you move it to in progress and then it appears in some other board I don't know it's maybe let's say to dev board something like that and then in your to dev board it will be in progress you put in progress in here and I'm just speedballing here it can be anything I'm just showing you some of the ways to do it and uh, in let's say this is your board so you need to have stakeholder requirements and then the last one is to dev board which is in progress if you do that, let's get a Kanban board. Uh, sorry, let's go to PO board. So now, if you move to stakeholder requirements, it's here, but it won't be visible in your dev board. Okay? And then let's say you decided that, okay, it's ready now for development then you can move it to let's say in progress and then it appears here I think it's better with the two Kanban boards because well you don't want to mess anything that is in in the, in the sprint right now but you can have bunch of those steps for your PO thing that is not related like you don't need to do you don't need you didn't need anything. You can have a bunch of your own things that you go through a backlog before you put it in the sprint. So let's say you're a PO and you have uh, collect requirements, talk to stakeholders, do, 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 do. So you go for that. And then when it's done, when it's at a certain point, then you can put that into a sprint and then it will appear in your developer's board. I know it's a little bit more advanced. Um, not too many teams use it, but I find that it's much better than have those a lot of projects that have correlated issues. I might as well create a bunch of boards because boards are just a filter. And then statuses, you can do whatever you want. You can map them any way you want. And this can automatically appear if you match status. I showed you in progress just, just for as an idea. This can be ready for development and your... Uh, PO last column can be ready for development when they move ready for development in the peers and if it's a two Kanban boards let's say which is I think would be better approach in here then developers would see just appear and they can start working and they can start picking up I've seen it's done many many times um, or you have your PO and you have your designers and when PO is ready collecting requirements then it goes to ready for design design pick it up when designs are done, we create a new ticket or we just put this ticket into development and then your scrum board is just like a development board. So it moves for it. Hope it makes sense. I know it's a lot of um, a lot of terminology, a little bit more advanced, but uh, let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, please ask them. I'll be happy to answer. Uh, sorry for a little bit of uh, all over the place, but I want to make sure to, to bring a point across. I'll create more videos on how to do it, let's say, for designers and how <coughs> maybe how to do it for uh, uh, developers and PO and just create the whole use case. But in this one, I just want to show you that you can have both boards, Kanban and Scrum 
at the same project. Thank you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.